This is a simple next step. Okay. Always we go by step by step. Okay. When you teach, always do that. Okay. See, the first lecture was what is the original sin. Okay. Always that. Okay. Now, when you teach them, always review the previous one. Just say original sin. Hamartia. That means of the target. What is the target? The purpose of creation. Okay? Now, here. Then what? Consequences. Consequences means what result. Okay? What result? What consequences of the original sin? What had happened to Adam? Okay? Because of the Original sin. Okay. Then first thing is he, Adam, lost blessings. He lost the blessings. You know, God gave Adam the blessings in three ways. His body blessings, you can write down again, and his uh, soul blessings and his spirit blessings. Three ways, which we will go over briefly later. Now, he lost blessings, and more in particular, he used to live in eternal world here because of the Original sin, God casted him down to time world. Dropped, he was dropped down to time world. From eternal world to this world, that is a time world. That's the consequences. Okay. In other words, he lost original blessings in three parts. As a result, here he got dropped down to this time wall. Got it? Yeah. Now, then we will ask his, what blessings I say he received instead of blessings. This means dropping down the time wall and lost the blessings means not just the lost blessings. It comes with curses. It comes with the curses. This is a very important concept in the Christian doctrine. Okay, curses. Now, curses in three parts. Then we have studied this many times about what kind of curses, okay? But for those who are now learning out of this video, okay, just briefly, you just write down here. Blessings, bodily blessings. What, what, what was the bodily blessing? You can write down. I don't have a space for writing here. Bodily blessings means his body was uncorruptible body uncorruptible body meaning eternal body meaning no age gaining no no gray hair no wrinkles on your face always maintaining same age eternally that is Body blessings. And next body blessings is that he can travel without limit in his twinkling thinking, just instant thinking, you can travel one place to another instantly, even long distance. 
Okay. That's uh, also bodily blessings. And number three, communication. He can communicate multi-communications. In other words, he can communicate as many as people as possible at the same time, one time. Not only that, he can communicate a person in far distance, far distance. That's communications, blessings. And number four blessings, bodily blessings, is that no sickness, no, no sickness, no hospital, no funeral service. Okay? All these are bodily blessings. So when you teach, always teach this step by step. So that people can understand clearly. Now, how about the soul blessings? Soul blessings means his character and personality blessings. You write down the character and personality blessings. How do we know he was created in the image of God? That's a, don't forget that part. Before the fall. Now, after the fall, he received the curses. What curses? He got Satan characters. Hating, jealousy, killing, stealing, okay, lying, all this. How about curses in body? After he dropped down this time world, what had happened to him, body? Number one is he's gaining age. Age. And sickness. And funeral service. Even traveling, you are limited by space. You can travel long distance at a one time. And communication, limited by space. You can only communicate the person right beside you, and so on. Is a bodily curses? That it, those are the curses. And here, mental soul curses. And spirit blessings was what? He became a child of God. Genesis 2, 7, because God's spirit enter into Adam's spirit joining together. Genesis 2-7. But up upon the fall, he received the curse in spirit. God's spirit disappeared. And Satan's spirit entered in his spirit joining together and became a child of God. No, he was a child of God. That was a blessing. Now he became a child of Satan. That is spiritual curse. Okay? So these are the curses. So don't forget to explain this, these curses step by step logically. Okay? Now, not only that, that's one of the curses right here. His name recorded in the book of death. Prior to that fall, his name was recorded in the book of life. So his name was erased and now in the book of death. And lost tried the ship of God and lost inheritance of God, lost intimate relationship with God, lost personal relationship with God. Okay, now instead, he received a new name, 
called you are sinners. Sinners and Satan children and lost people, lost person. Because of this, Paul said here, Romans 3.23, okay, all human became sinners upon the fall of Adam. So including all the God's children involved right here. See, even Adam, okay, God's children and the Satan children, all human because of the fall of Adam became a sinners. It's a plural. Romans 3.23. So later, out of these all sinners, God will divide into two kinds of People, okay. He will he will deliver God's children out of the sinner's position. But at this time, including all God's children, became sinners. Isn't it simple? Here. What are the consequences of the original sin? Then just, um, just to briefly repeat, it uh, lost the blessings. Okay, then we will say, what kind of blessings lost? He dropped down to time wall, and also those are the lost the blessings means receive the curses. That's the key. Lost blessings means receive the curses. That's the next concept here. Okay. Then what kind of curses he received? Would you write down that? What kind of curses? Lost blessings means receive the curses. Then what kind of curses he received? He dropped down to the time world. That's the first curse. Second curse, he received the curses in three parts. Received the curses in three parts. Okay? And he received the curses, his name recorded in the book of life. That's the curses. And curses is he lost childship. He lost inheritance of God. He lost intimate relationship with God. He lost the personal relationship with God. All these are curses. Okay? And his name is, that's the curses here. Became, we call it, God calls them sinners. You guys, Satan children, you are the lost People. So all these are the expression of curses. Okay? That is the consequences of the original sins. Is that clear? So when you teach them, always summarize it again. Otherwise, people will be confused. Summarized again. Okay? May God bless you. Bless those who are watching. Bless you. Amen. <laughs>